Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're gonna be talking about the best live scope bundles uh, for each class that you're in, whether it's kayaks, canoes, maybe those little float things that people kick around. Maybe you got a smaller boat, or if you got a full on big bass boat and uh, you wanna fully set up a live scope unit. Today, we're gonna break down the best bundles that you can get right now. And uh, hopefully there's gonna be some sales that go on later on this fall, come probably November, December time. So look out for those as you're watching this video. So for those of you that are kayakers, canoers, um, I know kayak fishing has blown up over the past couple of years. I highly recommend getting the Garmin UHD 7.3 SV. This is a seven inch screen, it's a touch screen. Um, it also comes with the GT, you can get it with the GT56 transducer, which is your mega imaging, both side imaging and down imaging. Garmin calls it clear view and side view. So overall, it's a great unit. But again, it is compatible with the Garmin live scope system. And let's just talk quick. There's two transducers for the Garmin live scope, the LVS12 and the LVS32. The LVS12 is a smaller uh, window for the Garmin live scope system. It's not the full on what most people would see as a live scope system. It doesn't show the full picture. It's a smaller angle that it shows. Um, for those of you that maybe are only fishing below your kayak, this might be an option for you because you could just set it on your down view real easy. The thing about the LVS 12 system, I don't believe it has to be connected to the GLS 10 box. So the LVS 32, which is the full on Garmin live scope system, has to be connected to this GLS 10 box because what that box does is actually takes, the transducer sends out the signal and there's different angles that this transducer sends out or different pings. And that box actually stitches the entire image together to display it on your Garmin unit. The LVS-12 is only one beam. It's not multiple beams like the LVS-32, so I, it's not using that, that black box to actually stitch an entire system together to display it on your screen. So those are, those are the main two differences between the two transducers. I highly recommend if you're gonna go on and get the Garmin LiveScope system, get the LVS-32 with the black box and plug it into your 7.3 SV. If you're a kayak fisherman or a canoe, or maybe you got a smaller boat, or one of those float tube things that you kick around, I see those trout fishermen have them. I'm sure you could figure out a way to rig it up. By far, the most portable system, the seven inch screen, and probably the easiest, and what I see on a lot of kayaks, that 7.3 SV. As far as the most efficient on a small craft, like a kayak or a canoe, the 7.3 SV with the Garmin Live Scope system, the LVS32 and the GLS10 black box, I don't think you can beat it. Now, if you got a bigger boat, I'm in a 18 foot bass boat, I recommend the Garmin 93 UHD. The bass tank right now has a special going on. I think they announced it last, I think actually they announced it today, uh, November 22nd. It's cold out, it's only 23 degrees, so it's hard to talk. But November 22nd, they came out with the uh, live scope bundles on sale for $21.99. Garmin just launched their $200 mail in rebate today. So now you can get the nine inch screen, the GT54 transducer, and the live scope system, which is the black box, and the LVS32 transducer, all for $19.99 and I think 98 cents. So under two grand, you can get a nine inch screen with your live scope bundle. Ooh. Almost put it in the water, that's not good. So this is the Garmin 93SV UHD model. Comes with a GT56 transducer, and when you pair it with the GLS10 black box and the LVS32 live scope system, it is an amazing live scope machine. This is what I've used for the past three or four years now since live scope came out. You will be able to do everything you can do with the bigger units that I'm about to talk about with just this unit. Um, touchscreen technology, this unit comes in at about $1,049. Combine that with your $1,499. Live scope system, uh, you're looking at about $2,500, $2,600, something like that. Be sure to be on the lookout for sales come later this fall and winter, because I know Garmin likes to do those sales around Black Friday sales, Thanksgiving time, and just before Christmas. So if you're looking at getting a new live scope system, I highly recommend this one for anybody with a medium sized boat or even a big boat. Um, this is your best bang for your buck when it comes to the live scope systems. 
So to step up to the next class of unit, that is the 1022 and the 1222. These are 10 inch and 12 inch screens. These are by far your best bang for your buck for a large screen. If you want the full live scope experience, uh, the 1022 and the 1222 big screens, you're gonna be able to see everything. Um, if you have a bigger boat, I actually purchased the 1022. I'm gonna be installing it on this boat in the coming weeks. Um, I wanted a bigger screen that I could actually, I got a mount that actually adjusts up and down. Um, so I'm not trying to look straight down at this nine inch screen anymore. Um, but if you want the full on live scope experience and I guess the least expensive 10 or 12 inch screen, the GPS map 1022 and 1222 are your best options for that. Now be aware, these units are not sonar compatible. They're compatible with live scope and they have a worldwide base map GPS system in them, uh, but they are not compatible with your side view or clear view, your side imaging, down imaging transducer. If you want that, you have to get the 1022 XSV or the 1242 XSV, or I'm sorry, the 1042 XSV or the 1242 XSV. Those are compatible with your side imaging, down imaging transducers. Um, most people that buy the 1022 and 1222, it's primarily for live scope. They might use it as some sort of mapping system as well, but these are designated live scope systems. And if that is what you're looking at getting, a bigger unit to be able to see it, maybe your vision's not that great, maybe you don't wanna stare down at a nine inch screen, these are great options for you. Um, the cool thing and what separates out the GPS map units in the 12, 1022 and 1222, and the reason I got a GPS map unit is because you can use the Active Captain app on your phone and you can actually record the live scope screen uh, from your phone with only GPS map units. Unfortunately, the uh, 93, the Echo Map UHDs and the Echo Map Ultra Series, you can record, you can screenshot the live scope, which is what I do a lot of times, but you cannot record live scope on these units. Um, Garmin used to have an app or an application that you can open up on your laptop to actually record sonar. It allows you to record sonar and I've tried doing it. Unfortunately, it converts it into a weird file that doesn't allow me to put it into an MP4 file or something to put it in video format. Um, I still haven't figured that one out. So I'm hoping with the GPS map unit, I'm gonna be able to record everything through the Active Captain app and be able to deliver uh, some some better video for you guys. But that is that is the best option for a 10 or a 12 inch screen is the GPS map 1022 or 1222 series. And if you wanted to get crazy, I've seen this on boats, actually I've seen some bigger ones on boats, the 16 inch screen, which is the GPS map 8616, Yes, it's a 16 inch screen. I think it comes in at like four or $5,000, something like that. It's insane. Um, but if you wanted to get crazy, that is an option for you. Um, Garmin makes some really big screens. I've seen a 22 inch screen on a boat. Yep, it looked like a flat screen TV right off the bow. Um, I honestly don't know how that person drove the boat, but they did uh, without hitting anything. If you want to get crazy and money's no issue, go ahead, go crazy. 16, 22, 24 inch screens. Um, I will say once you get into the really big screens, you have to buy special adapters because they don't have SD card slots. Those screens are meant for like 30 foot offshore boats. They're meant for center council type of units. Um, but if you wanted to go crazy, have at it. If you're getting into live scope, you got a small boat, 7.3 SV UHD unit. That doesn't break the bank. In my opinion, you know, 750 bucks or 800 bucks, that's not gonna break the bank. The next level up, and if you got a little bit bigger boat, these 93 SV UHD models, highly recommend them. I've been using this one for three or four years now. That's the best bang for your buck right there. And usually they have a sale on them, November, December sometimes, so look for that. Um, but if you wanted a bigger unit, the 1022, it's a 10 inch screen, GPS map, or the GPS map 1222, 12 inch screen. So those are the units that I think are the best bang for your buck if you're trying to get into the live scope market. Let me know if you got any co comments or questions, post them in the comment section below. Um, if you got any questions specifically about how to set something up, or if something is compatible, you can message me, you can post in the comment section, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Again, I always appreciate hearing from you. I know these units are, or the live scope 
bundle series is definitely expensive. I'm not saying it's not, but if you are serious about getting into it, these are the best units that will not break the bank. Um, there's other 10 and 12 inch screens, but I feel like you're buying something that you don't need if you're just using it for live scope. So uh, appreciate you watching as always. Again, if you've got any comments or questions about anything, message me on Facebook or Instagram or post in the comment section. I always love hearing from you and I like helping other people get into the fish finder market. So appreciate you watching. We'll see you.